गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू ए टॉपिक ऑन फसी रिलेशन सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑन क्लासिकल रिलेशन एंड द प्रॉपर्टीज एंड ऑपरेशन ऑफ क्लासिकल रिलेशन एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड ऑन कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ क्लासिकल रिलेशन देर आर टू कॉम्पोजिशन लाइक मैक्स मिन कॉम्पोजिशन एंड मैक्स प्रोडक्ट सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द सेम प्रॉपर्टीज ऑपरेशन ऑन फसी रिलेशन ओके so before going into fussy relation first i will teach you what is fussy cartesian product see this cartesian product we have already seen in classical uh, classical set so now we are going to see it in fussy set also the fussy cartesian product so here let we assume that x is a fussy set with membership function mu and mu x of x and y is a fussy set which is having a membership value mu y of y okay so then we can frame this cartesian product that is cartesian product is represented by r so mu r of x comma y will be mu here cartesian product is nothing but multiplication so x cross y of x comma y will be minimum of membership value of x comma membership value of y so when we want to perform cartesian product between the two fuzzy sets we just need to take the membership value we need to take the minimum among the membership values but in case of classical cartesian product we will be doing the product between the two fuzzy two classical sets but here it is not the same just we need to find out the minimum among the two membership values okay now let me explain this fuzzy cartesian product with an example let me consider that a fuzzy set which is having the value 0.4 by a1 plus 0.6 by a2 plus 0.1 by a3 and b fuzzy set is having 0.3 by b1 plus 0.5 by b2 now i need to find out the fuzzy cartesian product between these two fuzzy set the output is r this is what we need to find out so first when we are finding out the fuzzy cartesian product so we need to perform the membership values so between we need to compare the membership values between a1 and b1 a1 and b2 a2 and b1 a2 a2 and b2 a3 b1 a3 b2 okay so first we will find out for this a1 and b1 so membership value for a1 and b1 will be minimum among the membership value for a1 and minimum among minimum of membership value of b1 what is membership value for a1 that is 0.4 minimum of 0.4 and for this b1 membership value is 0.3 so when we take the minimum value the answer is 0.3 here next we need to find out between a1 and b2 so that is what i have written here a1 and b2 minimum of membership value of a1 comma membership value for b2 that is minimum of 0.4 and 0.5 the answer is 0.4 next we will we'll find it out for a2 and b1 a2 and b1 the minimum among 0.6 and 0.3 is 0.3 here next we will find out for a2 and b2 so that is a2 and b2 minimum among 0.6 and 0.5 is 0.5 that is why we are getting here 0.5 next one is when we compare it for a3 and b1 minimum among a3 and b1 is 0.1 okay that is why i have written here 0.1 last one is between a3 and b2 minimum among this values 0.1 so i will substitute all this values in a row so considering a1 a2 a3 as row matrix and b1 and b2 as column so we will substitute this 0.3 0.4 0.3 0.5 0.1 and 0.1 here as a row as as a matrix and we will get the output like this so this is what the output for your fuzzy cartesian product so if it is if they are asking in two marks or if they are asking in five marks you can write the detailed uh, detailed uh, workout suppose if they are asking in the two marks or one mark like that so easily you can write all the fuzzy cartesian product suppose you can keep a1 a2 a3 here and b1 b2 here and you will find out the minimum value 0.4 and 0.3 minimum is 0.3 0.4 and 0.3 minimum is 0.4 0.6 and 0.3 minimum is 0.3 here and when we compare 0.6 and 0.5 the minimum is 0.5 0.1 and 0.3 it is 0.1 0.1 and 0.5 it is 0.1 so it is very simple to find out the fuzzy cartesian product so next coming to the fuzzy relation so consider that there are two fuzzy sets x and y and we need to find out the fuzzy relation between the two sets x and y 
so we can represent x to be x1 x2 etc up to xn and y to be y1 y2 etc up to ym so we can find out a relation we can substitute those values in a matrix and this matrix is called as fuzzy matrix okay as we are substituting the fuzzy membership values you can substitute the membership values as you do it in the fuzzy cartesian product you can substitute the values always what is a relation a relation means some or all the it is like you will find out the cartesian product between x cross y and among all the values you will select some of the values that is called a relation fuzzy relation r okay so let me explain this fuzzy relation in a with an example so consider that x contains a values x1 x2 x3 and y is a, y is having two values y1 and y2 and we will have when we do a cartesian product we will get all the values here x1 y1 x2 y2 x2 uh, y1 x2 y2 then x3 y1 x3 y2 we will get all the values now we will select only some of the values so for the relation so the relation r is having the only three values that is one is the uh, having a connection between x1 and y1 okay and then x2 and y1 and x3 and y1 okay only these values are there in a relation r so i'm writing here 0.5 by x1 by x1 comma y2 plus 0.3 by x2 comma y1 0.2 by x3 comma y1 so now the corresponding matrix will be here it is x1 and y2 okay so x1 and y2 this here you'll get so it will be zero here since the values are not present for other values you have to substitute zero this is 0 0.5 0 0.3 0 and 0 0.2 and 0 so this this is called your fuzzy matrix now this can be represented in a graphical format also so x y so which is having uh, x1 x2 x3 and y is having y1 and y2 so x1 is having a uh, association with y2 so i am giving here the value to be 0 0.5 and x2 is uh, connected with y1 so which is having a value 0 0.3 and x3 is connected with y1 so which is having a value 0 0.2 so i know like uh, up to till now what i know is if any two fuzzy set is given for you we can easily find out the cartesian product from the cartesian product we can easily find out the relation and from the relation we can form the fuzzy matrix and also it can be represented in a graphical format also okay next is operations on fuzzy relation so we will we have following operations that we can perform on fuzzy relation first is union membership value of r union s will be maximum of membership value for r and membership value of s intersection so when we perform this intersection operation it is nothing but minimum of membership value of r and membership value of s complement complement is nothing but membership value of r bar it is nothing but 1 minus membership value of r of x comma y okay and next is containment containment is r relation it completely contains in a that is it's a subset of a relation yes only when this particular condition satisfies membership value of r of x comma y is lesser than or equal to membership value of s yes of x comma y next is inverse a of x comma y that means r of x comma y inverses r inverse of y comma x okay this also satisfies last is projection projection is denoted by the symbol this inverted arrow mark so projection denotes the projection of r on to y of x comma y will be maximum of membership value of r of x comma y so if he found out the maximum value among suppose for example you have this value 0 0.1 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.8 here you have 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.6 so when we found out the projection of r on now why the answer will be so among these three values which is the maximum 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 this value is 0 0.8 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.6 is 0 0.6 so this is the projection of r on y 
okay this is the projection on r and y so you need to find out the maximum among x comma y okay so these are the operations that you can perform on fuzzy relation coming to the properties of fuzzy relation all commutative associativity distributivity idempotency identity de mockens law all uh, formulas holds good for fuzzy relation except two one is excluded middle law and laws of contradiction that is excluded middle law says that when you when you want to perform union operation between r and its inverse and its complement you you will not get an universal set as we all know we cannot able to find out a universal set or empty set that is like when you combine when you take an intersection between r and its complement you will not get an empty set likewise when you combine this r and its r inverse you will not get an universal set so only these two laws are not satisfied other than this all other laws are satisfied using your fuzzy relations moving on to the next operation which is fuzzy composition there are two composition as we have seen in carty that is like classical relation max min composition and max product coming to max min composition so you consider that there are two fuzzy relation r and s exist between a b and c that means relation r it's uh, it it is it exist in a cross b a cartesian product b and yes you are getting from a, s is a relation you got it from a cartesian product between b cross c okay now we will find out this composition r dot s r dot s the formula for r dot s membership value of r dot s that is x comma z will be maximum among minimum of membership value of x comma y comma membership value of y comma z so this is the formula for your r dot s so you can write this maximum as union and minimum to be intersection okay so this is what you are getting for your so mu r dot s will be union of membership value of x comma y intersection membership value of y comma z coming to max product the same thing so what you will do is outside you will have maximum inside you will have a dot maximum of membership value of r of x comma y dot membership value of s of y comma z so you can write it in this formula uh, mu of r dot s is union of mu r of x comma y dot mu s of y comma z so all these problems i'll be explaining in the next video okay so the properties that holds good for fuzzy composition is like uh, this one this is not satisfied when you take a composition r dot s and when you take a composition between s dot r they are not equal and when the r dot s when you take an inverse that will be same as s inverse dot r inverse and uh, when uh, associative property holds so old school that is r dot s dot m will be r dot s dot m so these are the properties that satisfies with fuzzy composition next topic is classical equivalence relation so we will see another new topic in fuzzy relation that is classical this is a classical equivalence relation similarly we will see it for fuzzy equivalence relation also first we will see it for classical equivalence relation so what is classical equivalence relation a relation r will be and classical will be set as will be uh, called as equivalence relation only if three properties are satisfied so they are reflexivity symmetric and transitivity if the bo if all the three properties are satisfied then we can say that relation to be an equivalence relation so what is reflexivity reflexivity says that when you take a value when you take when you when you having a matrix like this okay so when uh, xi comma xi will be equal to 1 then it is called it is a property called reflexivity suppose you are having uh, here it is x1 x2 x3 and here you have y1 y2 y3 okay so all the values both the values of x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 should be same others can be any values will be there so this is for a classical set so i have used only zeros and ones so all your xi comma xi should be the same should be same over here that is your reflexivity next what is symmetric symmetric property says that the value of xi comma xj will be equal to the value of xj comma xi okay this is your symmetric property so what do you mean by symmetric property so for example i'll write the example for this here 
this is x1 x2 x3 and this is y1 y2 y3 okay so you are having here the value 0.1 here also should be 0.1 suppose if you are having 0.7 here also 0.7 here you are having 0.6 here also 0.6 this can be any value you can have so you can see this all your x i comma y i x j will be equal to x j comma x i so this is x i comma x x j that means 2 comma 1 it should be same as 1 comma 2 okay like this is called symmetric see this values are symmetric among the both the directions this is your symmetric and what is transitivity transitivity says that when you have a connection between x i comma x j and x j comma x k both are one then we can say that the connection between x i and x k will be equal to one so the, the there exists a connection between x i and x j and x j and x k it is one then we can say there is a connection between directly from x i to x k which is equal to one so if a relation is said to be an equivalence relation only if all the three properties are satisfied one is reflexivity symmetric and transitivity reflexivity says that both the values both the x and x a will be which should be same and symmetric says that it should be symmetric among the both the, uh, among both the directions next is transitivity says that when you have a connection from i to j and j to k then there will, there will be a connection from i to k okay this these are the three properties so if a relation satisfies all the three properties then we can say it is an equivalence relation okay it is called as classical equivalence relation one is classical tolerance relation tolerance relation is one which satisfies only two properties one is reflexivity and symmetric then we can say that relation to be a tolerance relation and there is also some connection exists between equivalence relation and tolerance relation equivalence relation that is r can be formed from the tolerance relation r1 by by taking compositions within themselves for example if you are taking r1 r1 is a tolerance relation when you are taking a composition among themselves n minus 1 times you will get your equivalence relation this is a connection between the tolerance relation and equivalence relation so r1 of n minus 1 will be equal to r okay this is all about an equivalence relation and tolerance relation in classical sets coming to the first c equivalence relation so this is similar to classical equivalence relation so a relation is said to be a fussy equivalence relation if it satisfies all the three properties one is reflexivity symmetry and transitivity reflexivity says that membership value of xi comma xi will be equal to one Symmetric says that membership value of xi comma xj and xj comma xi should be equal. Transitivity says that membership value of xi comma xj you are getting one value lambda 1. We can keep it as lambda 1 and membership value between xj and xk we keep it as lambda 2 and this membership value between xi and xk will be lambda. This lambda value will be minimum among lambda 1 and lambda 2 then we can say it satisfies the transitivity property okay so this is your transitivity property so if uh, a relation satisfies all the three properties then we can say that relation to be fuzzy equivalence relation and the last topic in today's video is fuzzy tolerance relation fuzzy tolerance relation is same as classical tolerance relation so if a relation satisfies both the properties reflexivity and symmetric uh, satisfies only two properties and we can say it is a fuzzy tolerance relation as uh, this there will be an uh, exist a relation between uh, fuzzy equivalence relation and fuzzy tolerance relation by using this formula when you take a composition this is r1 denotes your fuzzy tolerance relation r denotes your equivalence relation when you take a composition between among all fuzzy tolerance relation then you will get your fuzzy equivalence relation so number of composition will be n minus 1 so in today's video i have taught you about uh, fuzzy relation fuzzy cartesian product fuzzy um, operations and we have seen some uh, fuzzy composition also and classical equivalence relation classical tolerance relation fuzzy equivalence relation and fuzzy tolerance relation i hope that you all 
uh, learn this all these uh, topics well thank you all for watching